Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. I just wanted to take a minute uh, and share with you guys another um, area of items that you might want to look for when you're out at garage sales and thrift stores. And that is uh, needlework or counted cross stitch kits. Um, when you buy them brand new in the store, I mean they can be as little as, you know, five, ten bucks for small ones, but if you buy very detailed ones, especially ones by famous designers or artists, they can go I don't know, over a hundred dollars um, for a brand new kit. And on eBay, I found that in, with some of the completed listings, there are some older kits that, like I said, are very detailed or by a specific designer that I've seen go for over $200 for just one kit. So um, you should really be on the lookout for these. The reason that um, I'm telling you about this now is because I went to my Salvation Army store um, about two, three weeks ago, and I usually find nothing there. I mean, the place is literally like a big garbage dump. And I was on my way out and kind of frustrated, and over against the wall on one shelf, I saw a bunch of these counted cross stitch kits. They were all brand new in the package. This was the only one that was open. It is complete. It was just the plastic was open. But there were about, I'd say, 12 to 14 of them there. So I hadn't had a lot of experience selling these, so I picked out the seven that I thought were the best, the most detailed, had the most, um, you know, had the most floss, um, had the most popular theme and they were $1.99 a piece. So I paid what, a little over $14 with tax for all of them and so far I've sold five out of seven and uh, I've made about $100 off of my $14 purchase. These two are in my store right now and they do have watchers on them so I'm sure these will probably go at some point this one um, is my fifth one that I sold. I'm still waiting for this dingbat to pay me. It's been a week. Actually, I actually have four people I'm waiting um, to pay me. But um, see how detailed this is and how much you know work and time would go into this? This is what a lot of the um, needlework people are really looking for. So keep an eye out for those. And then I just happened to, this past weekend, luck out in that category again, and I found a guy whose, I guess, mother was really into this, or she had a store or something. He had four big totes full of these things. Um, I don't have room for all that, so I kind of just went through and picked out, um, I think it's 23 or 24 of the best ones I could find and he bundled them together. I paid eight bucks for everything, which um, is about 35 cents a kit. And all of them were Christmas themed. And the majority of them were like these little ornament kits. And these are great, especially this time of year. I mean, I really lucked out getting them right now because right now is when all the people who hand make things for Christmas are starting usually. So um, I hit the timing just right. I put all of these up on eBay uh, I think two nights ago so they haven't even been up for 48 hours yet. I have bids on four of them. These are the ones I have bids on. These little ornaments more ornaments. This one you stitch onto this fabric and then you can put it onto a sweatshirt. And then this plastic canvas one that you can use to hold your Christmas cards. But I have watchers on almost all of the other ones. So, so far I've made, <clears throat> let's see, with the initial bid on one of $9.99, that covered the cost of all the kits. And now um, I'm already 
$30 into profit and all the rest of these kits there's the rest of these in this bag and the rest in this bag are all profit so just wanted to make you guys aware of that one of the best ones to look for um, is by a company called Dimensions if you can find any from their gold collection snatch them up so um, that's my little tip for today I'm going to come back and show you guys some of the other things I've found at my sales. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.